Since the outbreak of the COVID-19, people's lives were affected in many ways. People had to change their normal way of life. They had to learn to work from home, children had to miss school, churches were closed, and people couldn't attend therapy sessions from their priests. With all this having been said, people were subjected to the strain. When children don't play and interact, they end up fighting a lot and there's, there's a lot of anger involved, be it from psychological effects or physical effects. Anger becomes their new way of life. With adults, it is the worst. They end up fighting a lot, with women on the receiving end. Gender-based violence is on the increase. Some people suffer from depression and anxiety after losing their jobs and end up committing suicide due to all the psychological effects being involved. So, in your own opinion, how has the COVID-19 virus affected your life? It actually affected me a lot mentally and it made me less productive mm -hmm. uh, last, and it affected me as well educational wise. I had a lot of pressure when I had to go back to school catching up, you know, every week and it changed my normal routine. Mm, it is understandable. Yeah, so I had to adapt to be. So, in your own understanding and opinion, what is mental health? Mental health is when a human being discovers their mental strength. Now they see they have the ability to be more physically and mentally, they mentally stronger to face the world difficulties. So, as a lot of people have seen to struggle, what would you say were your coping coping mechanisms during the time? I mean, I made sure I had, you know, visual alterations with family and friends, you know, we talk via Zoom meetings with visual calls, I did a lot of reading, something I wouldn't do, you know, myself, and I watched a lot of movies, a lot of documentaries that taught me a lot, yeah. So, I know as a lot of people have felt a sort of a slump, would you say there was a point where you ever felt depressed? Yeah, there was. I was always around the house, and I'm a person who likes to interact with nature, you know, seeing people all in public parks, going to cinemas, you know. I'm a person who likes doing fun activities, so it, 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 it has. It has. You know, I felt like I was being suffocated, you know, like a lot of things, like my rights were being violated in some way, somehow. So, as a person who has gone through this, what would you say? Uh, sort of mental stress relieving uh, strategies that you would recommend for other people feeling the pressure of being at home? For me personally, I don't know about other people. I love cooking. You know, when I'm cooking, I... So, how has the COVID-19 affected your life? Well, COVID-19 has affected me big time since I'm a social being. And it cut a lot of things for me, like going out with friends, having time with my family and family gatherings like yeah so as someone who has pre previously ex uh, experienced the pain of having anxiety how would you say it feels like living with anxiety well having anxiety is like uh, it's like living with somebody inside you who tells you what to do controls your emotions which is so overwhelming and to a point whereby you feel like you're so depressed or so, um, as previous uh, therapists have recommended, what coping mechanisms would you say you have used during over the time? Reading a book, having a healthy diet, um, exercising, you know, be productive, do productive things than just overthinking and doing things that are not necessary. It is possible to self-diagnose for depression, anxiety, and, and bipolar. Possible symptoms are intense and excessive persistent worry and fear of everyday situations. Fast heart rate and rapid sweating. This is Sablena Mabekta.